Hey Andreas, um, just a little video to um, show the remap of your ECU. I'm uh, just using an existing harness from another customer that's here at the moment. So it just makes life super easy because obviously you wanted some um, things on the remap, like for instance the fact that it works with an IS200. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this harness, which is a plug and play, into an IS200 just to show you that everything is working as it should do. Uh, so basically, you'll see from here that we have got Obviously not applicable to you, but you'll see that the ambient temperature itself is working. You'll see that the coolant temp is working, the oil lights working, the charge lights working, obviously check engine light, but that's analog, so it doesn't really matter. So all the information that's transmitted via MPX to the IS200, that is all working and remapped on your ECU. So you see there's no, no gauge device or anything on there. It's just running directly from the software on there. Um, uh, what you might need and I'll speak to you about is obviously you just need to correct the um, RPM signal But you should already have that because you had a running working vehicle You just obviously change in the way it's orientated So what we're going to do now is we're just going to fire it up to show you that obviously the immobilizer is removed um, From the ECU itself and we'll check that we've got no code So you know that all the automatic gearbox is now completely removed from the ECU itself And you've got no codes in relation to that So we'll just quickly go through there You'll see we've got the check engine light on now. As soon as I fire it up, the check engine light's gonna go off. So I'm just gonna put my ear protection on. So bear with me a second. Right, so let's fire it up. Okay, check engine light's gone off. Those lights have gone off. We've got the tack working and obviously the coolant temp is working. We've got all the live data coming through there. Check codes, you'll see we've got zero check engine light codes. So absolutely nothing on there. Okay, so yeah, you can see that's your ECU. It's got your name on it. It's all grounded off where it fitted into the original ECU box. So yeah, immobilizer removed, remapped to be manual. So you've got there, you've got the increased red line to 7,000 RPM. Uh, we've increased the power, we've increased the throttle response, all to set to sort of, you know, complete maximum that we can. So yeah, so that's all done for you. So we'll get the video up, we'll get it back in a box and get it off to you in Austria so you can get it fitted to your drift car. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you later.